This is a video I'm making because I couldn't find anything online to fix a slow rise roller shade. The one I have is uh, from a travel trailer. It's an Irvine Shade and Door Company. The problem I was having is when you pull the shade all the way down uh, originally, I couldn't get it to retract and release, and then after it wouldn't stay down. Uh, so I searched the internet, looked on YouTube, and couldn't find anything other than how to adjust the tension and the stop on it. So I decided to make a video once I figured out how to repair it. So the shade basically has three parts. It's the center shade itself, the right side end piece, which is the auto stop, and the left side end piece, which contains the spring inside. The auto stop basically lets you adjust where the shade stops when it's retracting. And the left side spring, as you adjust that, it lets you uh, determine how fast it rises once it's retracting. So I found the easiest way to adjust the auto stop is to pull the shade down and hold it where you want it to stop and then reach underneath and turn this knob to the right or clockwise until it stops moving and it locks it in to that spot. The left side, to increase the tension or make the shade roll up faster, you want to turn it clockwise or to the right, and that speeds it up as it retracts. So both sides are taken apart the same way. There's one screw on the bottom. Pull that screw out. And then this piece comes out. This side was the auto stop. Pull that out. This is what it looks like. So as it spins, This makes contact, and that's where it makes it stop. So as it goes down, this goes away, and then as the screen is retracting, it comes up and makes contact to wherever you set it. To put it back together, there's a raised ridge on one of the sides in here. It goes through any of these, doesn't really matter which way. just seats in there. This has the same shape on the inside. Put it in, twist it till it pops in. And then you put it back. On there. Seat it and put the screw back in. And that's that. So for the spring side, I've already taken off the screw. Pull the end out. And that's the spring side. So originally I thought this part was the locking mechanism when the shade is down to lock it um, down where you pull it. Then you pull it and this would release and it would let it go back up. That does not have anything to do with it. The spring itself, when this is in there, um, you wind it. This and this are caught on the spline inside of the, uh, the tube and the more that you turn this creates tension on the spring and that's what increases it to make it go up and down either slower or faster 
So looking at this side, this rolls free, or it should be locking. So this piece is the issue. To get that piece off, first take this screw out. Disconnects the spring. So this piece should lock and unlock depending on how aggressively you pull it. Whereas before it was just spinning and spinning uh, and it would not lock. So inside of here there's a very small Phillips. Uh, Actually, I found it easier to keep this piece in so it holds the internal parts in here together. That comes off. And then that stays there. And inside of here, there's this piece. And that piece. So after taking down the working shade that's identical to this one in the camper, um, trying essentially all these different parts together, isolating which one was the problem, I ended up figuring out this piece was the problem. So if you look, there's this silver um, Almost looks like a screw, but there's no threads on it or no uh, place to put a screwdriver. If you look inside, it hangs down into the inside of the tube just a little bit. <clears throat> that fits in these uh, grooves. So right here is a little notch. When you put it back together, that little silver screw has to line up when you put it all the way in. What I realized was the problem on mine is that if you look at it, the only difference that I could find was that that was raised a little bit. So when I pushed it down, and seated it flush against the outside then put everything back together lining that up and putting this back in all of a sudden it was working again and locking the correct way so when I opened it up I assumed there was going to be plastic broken parts um, but just because that piece was raised, that ended up being the problem. So you can check that. Uh, it may be that these three little parts are broken off and they don't lock against this outer or top part. If you can see there's three splines on there and they fit on there to lock that may be the problem um, but for me it was just that little pin had raised up somehow so to put it all back together like I had said you get that little notch right there lining up with that one put it in Use that to hold it together. Put that back on. Screw it back together. Be careful you don't over tighten it because it is just plastic. Put 
and that fixed it. So I'm going to put these pieces back together, put this back in there. Line up that hole with this one. Put the screw back in. And that takes care of that. So I'll put a couple of different pictures in the video uh, right about now. There are Apparently this is the economy version, and there's a different version that looks different. I'll put those pictures in in case uh, when you take yours apart, it looks different. You'll know at least it's the same manufacturer, just a different line. Mine was from the uh, 4A Forest River Salem. Uh, maybe the higher end units have uh, better quality. Let's put it back together. There's the spline inside of there. Let's turn it until it fits on. Same thing with that one. That seat's in there. Put that in there. Line it all up with the railing. Turn it till it pops in, and then put the screw back into the bottom. So last you just have to rewind the spring tension. It's going to take a lot. I think their website said 11, 9 to 11 turns. You just keep going, put a bunch of tension on it, and then once you get it back up in your window on the camper, you can adjust it uh, the rest of the way. And there you go.